everyone, it's Debbie from Australia and I'm here today with my January 2024 cross stitch update and I hope this video finds you well. January was, did not go as expected and if you have watched my whip parade you know why. So the stats for this month are a lot lower than normally, or well, normal for me anyway. This month I start, I worked on nine projects. I started one, not quite a, it wasn't a new year day, new start, but it was a new start for the year in January and that's what I'm calling it, new year, new start for the year. And I had two finishes. One of the finishes was actually a project that I thought I had lost many years ago. I'm going to flick it over here. This was one of those printed cross stitch kits that you can get. I started it back, I've got a note here, on the 8th of November 2015 and that's when I first started going to a few medical appointments with my husband. Um, of course with doctors you wait a long time so I thought I'd get one of these printed cross stitches so basically you only needed the material and the threads and you just painted it by colour. This little fellow, I don't know what I was looking for, but I actually found it again. And I was very impressed because I was able to use that while I was visiting my husband for the first half of January in hospital. Again, you only had the one bag. I could just sit there and stitch because it was all colour coded, the most outrageous colours, but you know when you stitched over the top of it that photo I showed earlier has not been washed I will wash it and I will put it into a pillow believe it or not and I'll um, show you at a later date I had hoped to get it done but again um, by the time hubby was home I was back at work so back to the normal bits and pieces my other finish for January was from Madame Chantilly we celebrate summer I love these patterns I have finished spring I've now finished summer and <laughs> for two weeks I'll be able to have it up I started this at the Vic Stitches retreat down in Victoria on the 20th of May 2022 the first Vic Stitches and I finished it on the 12th of January 2024. It looks like I've cut the um, the head off the fellow but I haven't put the padding behind it yet. I've just popped it in there to show you and I'm just going to swap them out. I have started winter and I haven't started autumn. I probably should and as I've said lots of times before I am doing them all on the green just to swap them in and out so that were my two finishes for January I will insert here a very quick shout a very quick thank you for the shout out that Darren at Dizzy Stitcher on Floss Tube gave me um, earlier this year this month or earlier in January I believe it was very kind of him he's a very kind man I have thanked him but I will thank I thank you again Darren my numbers have jumped um, not that that's something I really watch but it was it was nice to see that there were new viewers there um, quite a few comments which was nice also that wanted to follow some of the projects through as we go along I welcome you all I welcome those of you who have been with me for a while I do answer all my comments I try I try and get them done in the month you know pretty soon when they get here what I do do is usually if I have found those ones that just go missing where you don't get the notifications I try and do those while I'm waiting for the next update to upload so I do try but I thank you all 
for popping in and watching the projects and I hope you find a few that you are interested in to see them finished. There are quite a few that have not got a lot so I'm going to try and get a lot done this year. This is the before and after for Celebrate Summer. I had the flowers in the white pot and a couple of fill-in of leaves and basically the fill-in of the sign for Hallow Beach. So another little one finished. Oh, always go backwards in these cameras. You would think I'd know after all this time. And I've lost my chain of thought, so we will go on to the new start that I started. This start is at the Met by Mirabilia, who Amanda from Pennington Ter Terrace on Flustube, a good friend, not only bought it for me, but had Nora sign it. And when I read it, I said, oh my God, what did you tell Nora? She just said Debbie has done a lot of a lot of mirrors and I have done a lot of mirrors and I think there is one there's two I'm showing you today well three counting this one today and I think there's one more at the moment so I think I've got four on the run but I do love them I love the older ones with the lovely big dresses but this one I've always wanted and I say it is a new start for January. It could also be a new start for February. I'm not sure. I've started this on Stella from Picture This Plus. But I have got a really nice green fabric. And I keep, I keep thinking about that green fabric. And I think even though... I think there's about 1,200 stitches in there. Even though I have done that much, I'm extremely tempted to put this aside. And I only started it on the 21st of, no, 27th of January. Very tempted to put it aside and just do some on the green and see what I think. I must miss when I showed my mother. She said, oh, I love her. I said, yeah, I nearly did it on green. And of course, green being her favourite colour. Oh, no. Oh, maybe you should have done it on green. This is where I'm up to compared to the pattern in full. So you can see, I always do the lower half first. It's always the big bit. So you've got the little bit to finish. And we'll just have a good think about <laughs> what we're going to do. Whether I just might just put a few stitches in on the green and just see, see what I think start and finish is gone now I've only got one two three four five six whips to show you like I said not a normal month start with this is the sow Kelly from animal instinct on YouTube and I have started it is called from little things big things grow we are each going to spend a week on our big full coverage starting on a Monday to include a whole seven days so you get a weekend in there I'm not sure if any of us have actually started on the first Monday that we we're thinking of Kelly might have last month I have a bit more trouble getting my act together and I'm going to try as I finish these now because I'm trying to do about 1200 minimum on each project I pick up and then putting it aside and this time I want to take the photo get the pictures ready so maybe I can start on the first of the month but the reason I'm doing the video today is I want to start this one tomorrow because it is Sunday night on the 12th of February no it is Monday happy birthday Kelly hope you have a lovely day when you wake up because it wouldn't be your birthday yet because we're a bit behind us here this is where I am up to on a stitch in time I am still on this picture and though 
and I don't think bringing it closer will make any difference. But there's still at least a thousand stitches in that part. I'm trying to finish each sort of, you know, finish a series of books and finish the next picture. But this one's really getting to me. I mean, she looks lovely, don't get me wrong. But there's still a lot of ninja stitches in that sky whoop, that are missing um, on her table on a sewing box. And all oh, those flowers, there's a mess of flowers there. There's still a lot of stitches to go in there. For those that are new, this is my third start on this project. I did show it in full at the Brit Parade. And every second month I'll get it out and show it in full. This is my third start and I started it on the 29th of the 1st, 2019. It is my oldest whip. First of all, I started it two over, two over one on 28 count and I couldn't get my needle through by the time I got to the full page and it was just so hard and I got about six pages of it done. I then um, got more material out and I started it one over two on 28 count but then I was very concerned about the black and how you could see through the fabric and then I found some 32 count easy guide I had to wait until it came from England and I am doing it one over one on 32 count so it's going to be about a meter or a little over three feet wide and about two and a half or 75 centimeters down so not as big as everyone else's I do love it I've only got before and afters of the section that I'm working on there was about 4,200 odd stitches I believe all of them ninja ones so I got a lot of the sky done I got a lot of the greenery done I got a lot of her done and I'm just working from the top left corner, filling in the gaps and then just following it through to the whole page. I hope this, I hope this month, I really hope this month I get this section finished so I can start on the two books that follow it. I think the next picture, yes, that's what I put on Instagram with the tag from Little Things, Big Things Grow, just showing partial before and after so it just shows if you put a few days in you can you can get a lot done a lot more than what I thought but I'll be interested to see when I get to like the books where you've got you know a lot of color a lot of stitches in one color so it's a little bit more enjoyable I've got two more of these <laughs> pictures before I hit the end of the the end of the page but we're getting there I would like to think at the end of this year I would get this row done, which I believe is spring. Spring. Yes, it is spring. Okay, the next whip is from Vivsters on Etsy. This is the Quaker Sampler Australian Flag version 1. The minute I saw it back in October, I bought it and started it. I am doing it on 22 count hardanger. This is where I'm currently up to. You can actually now see the pale grey stitches showing for the white. And you can see it a lot. You can see it also a lot in person as well. I'm trying to get that Union Jack part finished. I've done a lot of the, there's a few more, um, few more diamonds over this hand, this hand behind the, the fabric. But I intend to then, once this is done, go through, do all the diamonds, and I just complete a diamond as I go. But at the moment, I'm sort of completing the red at the moment. I did a lot of the grey, but I am completing the red at the moment. Um get it done I just love it I just love it now there is a sow um, Gail Phillips 
from Wombat Hollow Creek, Wombat Hollow, everyone knows Gail, and Nicole from Devandalee Designs. They've got a sale going, they started on Australia Day, which was the 26th of January this year, but like I said, I started mine back in October. It is a very easy stitch and it's very enjoyable. And it's another one you could easily just sit there and merrily stitch away without without picking up anything else. That is before and after. You can see the red, you probably cannot see in that photo, the grey stitching. Um, it is 762, so it is pale grey. And that is where I'm up to compared to the finish. I'm actually doing version one with the stars because that's our flag. But there is a second version where you can stitch snowflakes instead. The next one is another one of my Mirabilias. This is Cathedral Woods Goddess. Now I did have a subscribers say they don't like patterns with antlers I because she's a goddess I'm choosing to believe that you know when the elk lost his I believe they lose them every year he gave it to her and that's when she's using it. it's a bit sad it has got a mm, that one hasn't got <laughs> there's not actually a head in the middle of them just the antlers she's using but I will remember next month, because hope it, well, this month, but for the December update, I will give you a warning not to look, because I'm not stitching the antlers, because I've got brass ones, and that's what will be going on. So, and it does have the skull in there, so I'll give you a warning to not look. She is, oh, you can see them now. There are beads galore. Beads and metallics are galore. Let me turn so you can see all the beads. And I need to put, and you can't actually see, because there's a whole heap in the middle of the dress. There's heaps of them. I lost count. I was trying to count, but there are a lot. They're all done. Except when you look at, and I'll put them together, when you look at beads around her antlers, that's, I'll put them in once the antler is fitted and it will come down and hit the middle of her forehead. I actually had to, um, I had to um, get some sandpaper from my husband and take the back off some of the antlers because it didn't sit flat but it definitely sits flat now I'll finish that this is before and after again very hard to see but basically I had finished all the stitching I did oh no yeah all the stitching the the main changes are all the beads which is very hard to get them in a photo I did try you can see some of them there, but there's still a lot down the dress that are very similar shade to the the stitches that don't show up. But yeah, she's a very blingy girl. Very blingy girl. And this is where she is up to in comparison to the original. And we'll see if we can get her finished this month. I can work on it again. <laughs> now I've done the video. Oh, now I get both it. Next, this is a favourite and it's very sad because the seller isn't selling them anymore. This is called Emu and I loved him from the minute I saw him. I've only seen one other person with it. It's a PDF so I can't share it. I decided not to stitch the orange. So I am stitching this on, it's called Peaches from it is a bit washed out there it's a bit hmm it is showing a bit 
washed out, but it is a darker orange. I don't know why it's not playing games today. The photo will show you how orange it is anyway. But look at his little face. Isn't he so cute? He is so cute. And I might take this bit out here, which is the shadow. Oh, yes, this bit here. I might just do his feet. So that might disappear. I need to, because again, because it's like a full coverage piece. I don't think I am going to stitch the shadow. Because I'm not stitching the brown. I'm just going to have him there with his little head. Poking through his legs. I love him. I love him. Before and after. So you can see the fabric is a lot darker than what was showing up earlier. You can see I did a lot of the stitching around the head. I have decided I'm going to do the random orangey stitches around the head to give it a bit of depth. And when it starts coming to the big block orange is when I stop stitching. And I really do think I'm going to cut it off and not put the shadow of the, the shadow of the feet in there. And compared to that's where I'm up to compared to the finished fellow. And if I'm not happy when I'm finished, I might have to go and do all that orange in the end but we'll see how I feel, feel when we get there <laughs> he's just so cute he is so cute love him to bits next was a, another gift this is a gift for a man he is hooks h o o k e s on instagram a gorgeous stitcher from Long Dog Samplers, this is Quilts. And I have got, what? I've only got the top two panels that, I believe these are stars, and then that final panel, and it is done. I might as well print, I might as well put 24 in, because it will definitely be a 24 finish. Look at the horses and the chickens and the dogs. And all the chickens in that one. Because that's what I was working on, the hearts. I've been sort of doing the small panels. And um, the big section each time. And filling the sidebars in as I'm going along. Because as you can see, they change all the time. So when I've got the thread on the needle and I'm near it, I get it done. So when I pick this up again, probably this month, I will finish that golden outline and then start on that last panel. Before and after. You can see that I just finished the top two there, the hearts and the poultry farm panel. And compared to the finished project. I've got the stars and I usually colour complete as I go along. Didn't go into um, Pattern Keeper very well <laughs> um, this time and uh, might not be such a big difference getting to the top but it basically means each panel I've had, I've sort of had it cut in four because it's, it's sort of it went in page by page so you do your colour for one page and then you click on the next one you do your colour for the next one doesn't mean a big thing but I have been colour colour finishing as I go along so when I get to the last one I'm done and I'll just have to make sure I'm ready to put the DW instead of the JL because sometimes I sit there and I merrily stitch that and then I realise it's the initials and I have to take them out One last whip. Oh. Clicking the wrong buttons. The last one. Oh. Wait a minute. You don't see that yet. Well, you have now. The last one is the Queen Mermaid. 
This was a gift from Kelly at Animal Instinct. She gave me everything, including all the beads. It is beautiful. Again, it's another one I have enjoyed stitching and it's another one that you yeah, just can't see the fabric. This is a very deep jade fabric, but it comes out blue, but it doesn't matter either way, it still looks lovely. I had a problem with her shoulder and hair. So when I picked it up this time, I went back and I corrected that issue and now she's back on track. And beading, yes, but other than that, there's not a lot of stitching to go. So if I now show you the before and after, you can see Yeah, her shoulder was fixed. There was something wrong and it was just throwing me out. So I just had to unpull it and sit there and just find where I was. So I've got a lot done. And this is her against the picture. So I think I've got two more colours in her hair. And then it's any stitching from the purse, or I think it's a little purse in her hand. Um, and the trailing's down there and that's the stitching done. And then it's another one to bead. But I rather enjoy the beading. I find it, um, oh, well, not relaxing, but it's easy enough to do. So I always put mine on um, with a full cross. Um, so they sit flat and not on angles, not unless it's a necklace and I want it to, you know, hang right. But basically again, the majority of mine sit flat. Now, I wasn't able to show you the stitching I did for some friends for Christmas. The stitching I chose this year was from the Jingle Ball 22. I bought this knowing I was going to do it for my three friends. Um, <laughs> I mean, they turned out lovely. Um, luckily, there was no one here to hear the language when I was putting them together because mine don't look like that. <laughs> they turned out all right. But I didn't have the pattern with me because it was a PDF because I bought it at the Jingle Ball. Um, so I sort of did it by memory. And when you see... <laughs> When you see the photos, I look nothing like it. I don't know why I thought they were triangles. I think I wanted a Christmas tree. So I stuck them on chopsticks. Those chopsticks went up the centre, covered them with material on the back, shoved the, cross, the chopstick up there, stuck them in little white buckets use some green tinsel put some presents on because you can't have a tree without presents and on those shots you can't really see but I have got a star up the top they were two that stayed in Australia but I was waiting for the photo because I forgot to take the photo of the one and not only that um, because the recipient was on leave it was a long time after Christmas before she was able to open it um, she took a photo of the one I did for her. So I was very pleased with him in the end. But like I said, when it comes to finishing, there was some... <laughs> there was a bit of colourful language going on. If it wasn't getting burnt constantly from the hot glue gun, as you do, it was things just not quite going well. But by the time I got to the third one, I was getting pretty good at it. <laughs> we might might pick something a little bit easier this year we'll see how we go now as you can see I set up for me mate and he didn't come so I have got a couple of photos that I've taken recently for him there's Mr Darcy finally started to use the igloo he'll probably use it more the white igloo I bought him I thought he'd fall in love with that but that was pretty much the first time he used it so I had to take a shot the one above it he decided to sleep on top of it which was good on him and the unusual one he was actually lying on his back because I was brushing him and I always thought he didn't like it but he's obviously changed his mind in his old age 
So that's the dear old Mr. Darcy. What have I got after this? Oh, she says she should know how to do this. Oh, yes, okay. Um, because I only had a couple, I'll go through threads. I'm getting to getting close to the end. I'm up to SUs in Classic Colour Works. Though I have been told there's probably still a fair few of those. They're coming up as they should. Lovely colours. The threads for Gentle Arts. Um, we're waiting on the last lot and they should come this month. And that's, that's the end of the Gentle Arts is done. But as you can see, when it comes to Wix Dye Works, come on, don't get blurry on me. We're only up to peas. So there's still a fair few. They've got a lot more colours than everyone else. Lovely colours. Then, I just thought I'd show you. You saw the Australian flag. If you go to Vivsters, you have to be very careful. Because it's very addictive. I bought Moroccan lanterns. They are lovely. African Queen. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? Quaker Multicoloured. This is a Larry Multicoloured. This one I really took a shine to. This is Firebird Phoenix. Look at that. Look at that. Some of these are really screaming doom it, do it, do it, do it. Quaker Tiles on black. This is Quaker Tiles Sea and Sand. Look how peaceful that one is. That one's screaming. This is Quaker Easter Eggs. I'd like to think I could get it done for my mum for Easter, but I don't think so, but aren't they beautiful? And the last one that's really crying out to be done. Shimmering Marble Blue. Because yes, it's marble, but I can still see the sea in that. I think it's gorgeous, and this one's really, really crawling. Oh, come on, don't. It's shimmering marble blue. From this year. And then I've got three patterns from the Jingle Ball this year. Not to, not to, um, no plans for these ones. I just really, really like them. From Jeanette Douglas, I got a Merry Little Tree. Merry Little Tree. Just thought that was very cute. And I got two from the Tiny Modernist. I don't know if I'm brave enough, but I'm always tempted to try. This is, this is Santa and Mrs. Claus. Look at them. She's got them on the spokes. I don't know if I'll be able to do them. I'll probably end up triangular on the trees, like the trees turned out. And this one, I just adore these. These are Stitcher Ornaments, again, from Tiny Modernist. Aren't they glorious? Stitcher's Ornaments. So, a bit of damage to the, to the wallet, but this is, whoa. You can sort of go down a rabbit warren on there, and there's still quite a few that are still waving at me but the shop's favorited so I'll just sit there and keep my eye on them now for Christmas my daughter got one of those Cricut mug printers and she tried her first cup look she did my emblem isn't that cute and on the back she put my my name <laughs> What I usually say when we hear the cat screaming, hello Darcy. <laughs> Isn't that cute? 
I should seem too far. You can't see. I, I might have to. I might have to move the table back so you can actually see all the pretty things. A lot of them given to me. I might have to see if I can get a bit closer and have it there because I absolutely love it and I thought it was really great. Really, really love it. Anyway, that's me rambling. I will go to stats. Like I said, a bit low for January because I was on leave until the 15th. Um, 20,076 stitches. Technically, I bought through 29 whips from 2023. But I did add the one I found. I had it written off as a UFO simply because I couldn't find it. But so I changed the brought from 23 to 30. I had one start in two finishes. So I'm back down to 29 whips. I hope to get a lot of them done because if you did watch the whip parade. You will notice that there are a lot that are very close. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I hope you're all well. And I hope you find a project you're interested in following. Take care and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you.